Hi, it's Dr. Judowski. We're doing a J-plasma procedure on the neck for neck tightening. Um, it involves a micro liposuction and also the use of the J-plasma subcutaneous handpiece for tightening um, and um, collagen contraction. So, um, as you see, I've marked the patient where we're going to treat both the neck and the jowl area. And she has some loose skin, not much fat, a little bit. So we're going to get rid of that and then I will demonstrate how we to mess the patient, uh, perform the liposuction, and then use the J-plasma as the final step. So now we're just going to do a typical tumescence of the neck. Um, I'm using a 22 gauge spinal needle and we're just going to numb the patient. So, so you'll feel just a little bit of pressure, Sandy. Okay. It won't be painful. You doing okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I've messed the patient. You can see she's comfortable. And uh, <clears throat> I've reinforced my markings. And now we're going to start with uh, a little bit of uh, liposuction. I use the I use the Aquacell device for vibration and a small size cannula, one, one and a half millimeter cannula. And we're just going to perform some uh, neck liposuction. So I'll demonstrate that. Let's see. There's some sounds here. It should be very comfortable. Okay. Now we've completed our liposuction. You can see most of the fluid has come out, and we're about to start our uh, J plasma procedure. Remember, it's very important to get as much fluid out as you can, tumescent fluid, before you start the uh, J plasma, uh, because then you'll get a lot of obstruction. It will be difficult. The, the tip will get clogged. Um, so when we do the J plasma. Um, we're going to start from just, I use a single entry port in the submental area, so that way we can cover the entire area uh, from one spot. Uh, we do want to take caution at the marginal mandibular nerve so we don't fire over that area, but we do get to the jowl because we want to tighten that as well. Um, I use settings of 65% 2 liters and um, you can even go down to one liter. Remember the gas is going to accumulate, you want to milk the gas out as you're going. I also have entry points I also have entry points at uh, the base of the neck from the lipo which will let some of the gas out. Um, we also like to monitor the temperature so we reach a goal temperature of 39 degrees in any given area and we can segment the neck into let's say four areas um, and then reach our temperature, move to the next area, and then we can come back and do a second pass. So the temperature goal is important. It helps us get to the that collagen tightening temperature of you know 45 degrees under the skin. So I'll demonstrate how to use the J plasma uh, on the neck right now. Okay. Do you want me to? Mm -hmm. So first we place the device in, and we get to our spot. You'll, it'll turn dark because we like to see the light, but you'll be able to follow the light. Okay, yep, go ahead. So we're firing here, and you'll hear the smoke evacuator as well. But you can see how I'm moving that.
completed the treatment, the J-plasma part is finished, and I can definitely feel there's a qualitative difference here to the tightness of the skin. There's no question that there's some immediate reaction. And of course the tightening will improve over time once she recovers from the procedure and the fluid goes away. I'm going to give it some time, typically about six weeks. Um, and what we do is we just milk out some of the some of the excess gas and fluid and then we're going to put her in a garment which I will show you um, and then um, then we can get her ready to go so we've got the patient in a garment as you can see it's a it's just a typical head and neck garment and some some pads underneath there will be a little bit of leaking of fluid because we do not sew the uh, entry points um, and so by tomorrow that will be done and we'll see the patient tomorrow in follow up so that's the uh, J plasma procedure for neck tightening. Um, good thing. Good thing. So we just completed the J plasma neck procedure. We did a liposuction combined with J plasma subcutaneously using the laparoscopic handpiece. And now uh, our patient has this nice garment on. It's very, uh, it's snug but not too tight. And uh, it's your typical head and neck type garment with some pads underneath. There will be some leaking under there. Uh, of some of the tumescent fluid overnight and then that will be done. We do not sew any um, incisions closed. There's only one major incision here. It's only about three millimeters. And so we'll f uh, follow up with the patient tomorrow and um, make sure she's doing okay.